Lisa Davis, are you in here? Uh, do we want to Ouija board it? Yeah, why not? Where are you? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Hey guys, welcome to the next episode here. We're going to do Ridgeville Roadhouse on professional. So recommended size for this one's two. Uh, my recommended items is thermometer and location size is small. This is a two-story, four-bedroom house with a basement. Another team recently went here and failed. It's up to you. Nice. Okay. I forgot to add stuff. Let's add... Uh, I want to bring two EMS because sometimes the EMS bug out on you. We bring two books for more monies. Uh, blah, blah, blah. A couple. Sometimes the glow sticks are kind of nice. Uh, bring Max camera, money, candle, just in case. Maybe we want to use a candle. I want to do the candle only challenge. Um, a couple prefixes, an extra camera. Do we already have a spear box? Yeah. I'll bring salt, smudgies. Couple tripods and that should get us going. in a hurry we got uh, Lisa Davis so I'm gonna take this note so I don't forget her name so I have notes uh, we got to do a motion sensor okay motion sensor and salt and the temperature one okay that shouldn't be too bad all right and it looks like the breaker box is in the garage let's not forget the key if you forget the key you gotta walk all the way back guess we could turn on that light Laundry room, key for the car, bathroom. Just search steps over that way. Let's keep an eye out for the Ouija board and the bone. There's our power board, circuit board, fuse box, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. If you guys would like, I, um, I could add my camera when I do games like this. I gotta, I gotta dig it out of the box. It's somewhere. I think it's in my garage in a blue tub in there somewhere. I got a bunch of computer junk shoved in a box. What was that? I don't think I've ever heard that noise before. Okay. No bone in the basement. So unless we come down here to hide, there's really no reason. Come back in the basement. Definitely sounds like it might be upstairs. Right, let's finish 
Uh, looking down here. At least we didn't get the uh, dirty sink. That one's rough. Can't just can't get it every time. Depends on where the ghost is at. And then capture the photo can be rough too, because it depends on what ghost you get. Sometimes these ghosts don't want to pop out, so your only option is to do it, uh, get the capture at a hunt, and then you put yourself at risk. Uh, this this house was always a uh, hallway ghost. So we're gonna just be, ooh, the Ouija board. We're gonna be looking for um, uh, the bone. What is that? Oh, it's a reflection on the Ouija board, I think. I think, I think that's what that is, I don't know. We'll just put it uh, right there. There's the bone, see the bone's kinda in the carpet a little. Did you just... I think I just heard the light switch. Okay, so... See if we can get some EMF. So, so far we haven't got any clues, but we do know... It is surely cold in here. So we definitely got a hallway ghost. Okay. I believe these doors open just in case we get haunted uh, while we're in the hallway and then we can quickly veer off. Okay. What door are you touching? Maybe that one? Okay, let's go get the camera set up for ghosty orbs. Might go ahead and grab the other EMF as well because that one's not going off. And they do bug out from time to time. So we'll just, we'll toss this one at another part, part of the um, hallway. So far, all this ghost has been doing is making noise and touching stuff. So hopefully we get fingerprints, get a decent amount of money for fingerprints, especially if the ghost wants to touch everything. Lisa Davis, are you in here? Uh, do we want a Ouija board it? Yeah, why not? Where are you? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Okay, okay. All right. Gonna hunt me already? Okay. Alrighty. We'll hide in here. Okay, so we're dealing with a demon or a mare. Turn off this light. Look at the journal. Uh, well, no, we have the lights on, so it can't be a mare. I think it's got to be a demon then. The spirit box goes riding in freezing temperatures. We'll see what we can get. That's what I'm thinking. Oh! oh, good lord. I thought it was over and it was right outside of my locker. Holy.
Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, sorry for the for you all ears ear holes there. Nineteen percent. Well, I could be wrong then. Okay, so I think when the ghost answers you on your Ouija board, if it's not a demon, you don't drop uh, sanity level. But if it is, if it isn't, you drop forty percent. So it's definitely not a demon. Okay, so I was wrong there. But we do have an aggressive demon. I mean, not demon, a ghost. Um, let's see. So we need salt in motion, but we do need to figure out what it is. Let's go ahead and stick this up real quick. What else do we have? Oh, the other EMF. Hmm. That's right, I was going to put that up, then I got haunted. Oh, he's turning the lights on and off. You know what? Let's, um... Well, if we're going to look for fingerprints... Alright, let's just, um... Let's do salt in motion. What's our sanity? 60. That's still kind of low. I think that's... I've gotten scared on this game, you know, jump scares and stuff, but that's probably the the most. Yeah, so note to self, do not touch the Ouija board. Drop the salt. What else did I bring in? Oh yeah, put the motion sensor down. So, we would have had freezing temps already, so it's, it's definitely not the demon, because I think demons... Cell phone rang, okay. We can get a picture of that for interaction. But again, we still gotta figure out what the heck this thing is. Uh, we need to bring Jesus in and a book. Oh, we can't check for Orbeez. Thing keeps turning my lights on. Oh, let's get set up here. We need to be have protections with the crucifix. We need to get this book down. get salt yet? No. Lisa, can you walk in the salt for me? Thank you if you do. Oh, let's turn this, uh, these lights off so we can look for ghost orbs. EMF isn't going off at all. We'll bring spirit box in and and we, we start taking pictures the bone oh wait do we need to get smudge on this one ocean and salt no okay uh oh fingerprints okay i mean we could look for fingerprints or we could um We can put the other camera down, but we technically have three angles. We have this angle, we have this hallway angle, and we have that angle. So yeah, um, fingerprints next, and we need to bring that other EMF reader in. Is this camera on? Okay. I don't think we have, we don't have a single clue. Oh boy. Not seeing any ghosty orbs. Let's go take a look. Let's go drop this camera off. Okay, 
so we know if we want to get some interaction we just uh we touch that Ouija board oh, we can try to we open this up oh yeah that's pretty good and the bone was in a room with blue carpet which one was that can you walk in this salt for me? I couldn't pick it up. Please. Oh, what? Oh. What? Why am I getting haunted? ghost does not like me. It is not very active. But it sure does love to haunt me. It definitely wants me dead. Hmm. So we need to bring another crucifix in here and probably pop our last sanity pill. Would be a good idea. I was ready for you this time. Lisa Davis. Ooh, this ghost wants to kill me. We got the motion sensor, but still no salt. So that's making me think it's the ghost the only ghost that can fly which doesn't leave footprints and I don't remember which one that is um which one is it the the wraith race is one of the most dangerous because you find it was only also only the ghost has the ability of flight okay so that's fingerprints free uh well that's freezing temps so I don't think so man look Look at that activity. Holy. Why? All right. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, at least going to get fingerprints. I still don't have any clues, and I've almost died twice. So we're probably going to move this camera into the other section of the hallway. Okay. Let's see. I don't know why. Why we're not getting salt. Salt's usually pretty easy. All right, let's, uh, what do we have? Camera. Let's go look for the, um, good old fingerprints. This is a, this is a super active ghost. I'm telling you. Well, uh, okay, super active. Not really super active. I would say, because it's not really throwing around and opening a ton of doors and stuff. Uh, but it definitely... Definitely is... Wanting to kill me. You know, we can hear it touching doors. I just don't know what doors it's touching. Okay, yeah, yeah. See that? That was like right here, wasn't it? Nothing. 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 
What doors are you touching? Is there an extra door in here, like a bathroom? What are you touching? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, calm down. What is going on? Hmm. We're not getting ghost riding either. EMF is not detecting anything. Uh, let's turn this off. We'll just throw it down for a minute. Hmm. What oh, radio is going off? <laughs> Okay, so is this cell phone moved? Maybe it's actually in this room. Because it's throwing stuff in here. Let's check that out. I don't think I brought another salt, so... Uh, we may not... Get salt. Oh boy. Okay, so I guess it's more... That was EMF 5, so it's more or less trolling here. So that EMF read is not bugged. I just didn't have it in the right spot. Okay. Can you write in that book for me? Let's just turn some lights on to preserve sanity. Uh, let's move uh, our crucifix, because we know this guy is... Uh, playing down here for whatever reason. Let's go check temps down this way. No, we're still not getting freezing temps. Oh look, this I didn't turn this light on. So it's kind of in this room and it's kind of in this hallway here. Alright. So... So we should get in we should get interactions for that. Uh, yeah, nice. So we know EMF five. We got that. Let's move this. Uh, let's check for fingerprints on the light and the door real quick. Uh, then we'll bring the camera down as well. So, we know this ghost. Has touched, um, they just touched this light. So we're not getting fingerprints. Um, it's definitely not going to happen. Well, let's put this camera here. Let's go grab the other one, put it in the room. And this is how this game can kind of trick you, because it looks like it's in this hallway. You know, the hallway ghost is usually, it, it takes these entire hallway, but it kind of looks like it's more manifesting here and also into this room. All right, so let's go check for ghosty orbs. We're not, still not getting writing. Put the lights off. Did I just see freezing temperature? Mm. 
I don't think so. Okay. It's definitely an aggressive ghost. So it's going to be something like the, the Wraith or the um, Yuri. I did it. It turned the light on again. Are you kidding me? Both lights. No, it's just kind of bright. Oh, I just seen the ghost orb. So we got ghost orbs. Oh, phantom, gin, or shade. Uh, hmm. All right, so spirit box is a gin. Let's go find out if we're dealing with a gin. Uh, we're, ooh, we're close to getting haunted. What else can we bring? Mm. All right. What was our other options? Probably writing. Uh, fingerprints. No, so we're not getting fingerprints. Uh, freezing temps for... Yeah, I don't think it's freezing temps. And ghost writing for shade. Yeah, so it's that's leading me to its spirit box gin. So I'm lucky I didn't die running away from it because the gin's fast. Um, let's just... Uh, let's actually... We read about the race because that's what we were thinking but let's let's check out the gin because i don't think i've had a gym on the video so gin is a, a gin is a territorial ghost that will attack when threatened it also has been known to be able to travel at significant speeds and that's probably why it's attacking because it's been threatened by me a couple times the ouija board for example a gin will travel at faster p speeds if its victim is far away turning off the location power will prevent the gin's ability okay uh Power box was in the garage, right? Let's just do that. Could be another reason why our power hasn't gone off, because the gin doesn't want to lose its ability. Which I think the only ability it loses is it's catching up to you. Where are you? Oh. That's Jen. So I still need to get the uh, spirit box. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I'm dead. Man, this ghost wanted to kill me. I'm telling you. That was one aggressive gin. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. So? <laughs> we failed that run, but it's okay. That was, uh, that was a super interesting run, so we'll uh, definitely get this on YouTube. So you can't pass them all. You can't uh, succeed at every mission. You're going to die on some of them. Uh, no matter how good you are at the game. So if you like this content, please slap that like button. Subscribe. Peace out, everybody.